Hey VC, it's Trevor back with another flat rounded spun here to do a contest entry for my friend and yours, Aaron Mutha Alamere. Aaron's putting on this contest to celebrate his three years in being in the VC, which is a great benchmark. Um, a lot of people are getting in on this contest and trying to find a unique way of saying what a great guy is is kind of difficult. I think it, the, the adjectives have been picked over, but my take with him is he's genuine. He really loves the music that he's into, and that is admirable. He, I have seen him get critical with things without shitting on the album or the artist, which is a good way of doing it very diplomatic because and i know myself i could really tear into an album or an artist easily even bands that i really love but so aaron to go along with your tipsy tuesday cheers vc a little uh pacific northwest uh rainier beer for you and uh i've been doing these beer salts just to add a little flavor, this is a lemon-lime. Tastes good. So, cheers again. So, part of this contest, first part is uh, giving shout-outs to three channels. Ones that I watch often. Uh, first off, I'd like to give a shout-out to Scott at No Solution. Scott, I believe, is in Canada. Um, Scott, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, coming from the extreme metal world, though he does like his prog rock, and recently he did a video on one of my favorite bands from back home in Detroit, a local band. Uh, and don't get crazy when I say the name. They're called The Fags. Just a super awesome power pop band. Um definitely check them out they're on all the streaming platforms but uh really really cool stuff secondly i would like to give a shout out to mark at twinger's turntable another canadian guy uh he and i exchange comments on each other's videos quite often i got a little hair right here it's bugging the hell out of me um he's also into metal the classic metal uh, some thrash I seen uh, when he got his new music room he had his a bunch of albums displayed up on the top shelf and the first thing I noticed was the new Mr. Bungle album from a few years ago so I knew that he was one of my guys so Mark at Twinger's Turntable and finally uh, I need to give a shout out to a buddy of mine also from the Midwest uh, in Wisconsin is Daryl from the Inner Sleeve. Uh, I believe for a minute there he was living in Michigan. I think it's somewhere in the 90s he was there. But uh, yeah, he's a, another old school metal guy like me. I believe we're around the same age. So yeah, we like a lot of the same stuff. And uh, good cat. Good cat. Uh, so I will put links to all three of these guys in the description and please give them a watch a sub and check them out so the main part of this contest uh since aaron's celebrating three years is it's all surrounded by three so i named the three guys before now he wants to wants us to name three artists and their third album is our favorites. So some of these I've brought up before, so none of these are gonna be shocking, but uh, so we're gonna go in chronological order. These are all from the 80s too, which I thought were kind of funny. But the first one is Rain and Blood from Slayer, 1986. Uh, this was, I remember getting this the day or the week this came out and man game changer is what this is 
their two previous albums I had heard before off Metal Blade, and they're great, they're classic albums, but the production on it is a bit normal for metal at the time, lots of reverb and trying to make it sound bigger. Well, when Rick Rubin started working with these guys, he dialed everything in and made it super focused and it was really in your face and it's just a bludgeoning beating from beginning to end 29 minutes of sheer brutality rain and blood by slayer uh next from 1988 one of the albums that got me into industrial music um this one and their following album i consider them sibling albums but this is uh probably one of my favorites from them their third album from ministry this is the land of rape and honey this is when uh al jurgensen was adding in more guitar or guitar like sounds on this uh the songs like uh stigmata flashback um golden dawn and the title track just great great stuff lots of samples apparently in the making of it they took a lot of the two inch tape and cut it up threw it up in the air grabbed them and taped them up again and ran it through the tape machine to make some odd noises out of that but yes ministry the land of rape and honey classic classic and finally I did a whole video, a, a ranking video of this band, and this was my number one in it. But their third album, this is Faith No More, The Real Thing from 1989. Uh, this is the album that debuted singer Mike Patton in the band. A lot of people know the song Epic, uh, the classic kind of rap rock song on there that still gets played to this day unfortunately these guys are considered a one-hit wonder because of that song um their whole catalog is amazing so along with this the title track is probably one of my all-time favorite faith no more songs zombie eaters stupid name great song they do uh, well it's not on this it's on the cd and cassette i believe but uh they do a cover of uh black sabbath's war pigs so Faith No More, The Real Thing, my last one. So, Aaron, congratulations. Three years. That's a major thing, my friend. So, everyone go over to Aaron. I'm sure you're already there. Um, but if you haven't, please check him out. One of the coolest guys in the VC. So, anyhow, we will talk to you guys later. See ya!